today we're back with another video and inside this video i just want to tell the title i'm going to be going over argentino source versus the barrow source let's go ahead and get right into it so uh, as you all know argentino is the new sauropod in the game biggest um biggest soro to ever walk the earth something like that and biggest uh dinosaur in the entire game now um but yeah now we have freaking argentino in the game and it's like a freaking it's like brachiosaurus times five that's kind of what it is to be honest with you but <laughs> anyways um i'm going to be going over um how much dna it makes so basically what you guys should use to farm dna and all that stuff i'm pretty sure everybody knows it's argentino um but by how much that's what i wanted to know so that's what I went into research about. Um, and I figured out that with one hour of farming at 900 days with Argentino gives me roughly, I'd say, 17,000. Or not 17,000. What am I talking about? 1,700. So 1,700 DNA for Argentino at, with 900 days. In one hour is what that gives you. And basically, if you guys multiply that number by eight, which is roughly how much you guys get average on sleep is eight hours, it you guys will be looking around thirteen thousand and six hundred DNA. Um, but that's just with staying at nine hundred days. What if y'all earn more days like i'm at 1200 days right now 1204 you guys can't see it. let me show you all right now that's what i'm at right now and i mean i'm getting a lot more i'm probably getting more dna than i did then i'm gonna be honest with you so um yeah it is something to talk about days days do give you more dna but anyways now if you got multiplied um 1700 by um Seventeen. Oh, sorry. I'm a little. I'm a little retarded right now. Seventeen hundred. Um. The uh times twenty four. That gives you roughly forty thousand and eight hundred DNA at only day nine hundred. That is a lot of DNA. That is if you guys do that. So we got forty eight hundred times four. Right. That's. So basically, you guys get, uh, you guys at 900 days straight without re eldering or doing any of that, only using Argentino, refreshing server so you know it doesn't get laggy. Um, you guys would be looking at around, I don't know, th four days of getting 200k DNA, maybe even three days to get 200k DNA. But yeah. That is a lot of DNA in just one day of grinding DNA. Just one day of putting your Argentino auto cooker on a tree. You gotta get 40,000, 41,000 DNA. That is just outrageously crazy. And now we have Barrosaurus. And I know I'm a Galactic Barrow. That's because I just like the skin better than walking around as let's say a glass barrow or a golden barrow classic barrow regular barrow like i think anyways we're, we're doing that we're using g barrow as just a skin uh, pretty much so i do would not recommend using galactic barrow to afk with if you guys are going to use barrow to afk that's perfectly fine anyways um i have four thousand days on my barrow look at that four thousand four thousand thirteen days on my barrow so and this is what i get per hour with that 1350 dna per hour so or uh, argentino outdoes barrow with 3100 days less than it by four 350 dna by 350 dna it outdoes it like crazy so that is freaking insane to know. <laughs> like, good lord, I knew I knew Argentina was better, but I didn't know it was that much better to be honest. But anyway, so if you guys multiplied 
1350 by 8, you guys would get roughly 10,800 DNA, which obviously you'd probably get more than that because you guys would be earning days as well, which would give you all more DNA. Um, and then we'd be getting 32,400 DNA, right? 400, not 200. Yeah, 32,400 DNA per day. That is crazy to know. So, basically, Argentina outdoes Galactic Barrel. Not a Galactic Barrel, obviously it outdoes Galactic Barrel. It outdoes Barrel in general by a large amount. So, um, basically, it outdoes it in DNA. Given DNA, it outdoes it in... Um, Speed outdoes it in defense, outdoes it in uh, damage, and it outdoes it in health. That's five things right there that are very useful for the game. So, I mean, I don't know about y'all, but that is a very good number for Argentina. And it's a pretty bad number for Barrow, but Barrow is still the second best dinosaur in the game to PvP with, if you guys didn't already know that. So, anyways... Hope you all enjoyed the video. Please make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.